I'm I'm nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. What we're gonna find out. Final chapter. When was Yomil's death? It was ten years ago, when the Temsic meteorite fell. Wait, no. There was this, the first bullet went down to the ground. The first bullet that um, Lynn shot before she shot Yomil went down to the ground don't tell me we're a cat this whole time we traveled back through time and now we're here at the scene of that death the start of it all is about to replay itself oh so we're traveling wait okay 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 hold on Okay, we're going to the park. Ten years ago. Looks a lot different now than it did, does in the, in the present. Hold it! Give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. There's a... Ugh. Damn it. I tried to hide my camera, but I don't have that. Okay, hold on. And I can't do that right now. But there was a cat. There was a cat in the corner there. Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo! You might get hurt. Are you okay? You're all right now. Are you hurt? You, you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's the Temsic meteorite, eh? It's beautiful, looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Temsic from falling from the sky, but we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. Wait, but this will change everything. This will change the course of literally everything, but I mean nothing really that good has come from this meteorite falling <sighs> except all the friends we made along the way i don't know what's the matter detective jowd to be perfectly honest i'm scared if that meteorite fragment doesn't get him i'm pretty sure i would have shot him we might not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. What I did is inexcusable. 
no matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new future. Okay, let's get started. If we can save Missile, then all of this will be worth it. Now, how are we going to save you? If Lin would just wander off somewhere, that would solve everything. When her sweet potato is almost ready, huh, she's not going to budge from that spot. But you know, it makes me wonder. A little girl, all alone in the park, listening to music and roasting a sweet potato. What kind of childhood did this girl have? Doesn't anybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break! Anyway, if Lin won't budge from that spot, then we'll just have to have the fragment move instead. It's ready! Hold it! There's the cat! Let's see what we can do. Basket, we have missile here. Oh, poor Miss Lynn. I'm, so, I'm sorry. If you're so sorry, then put her down. All right, now, missile. I was really out of my head that day. Well, we can talk all about all of that later. The Temsic meteorite is going to fall very soon. Before that happens, I have to think of a way to do something about that fragment. And I'll do everything. To help too. Okay, good. All right, we got the dog on our side. We have nozzles. We have a basket. We get to Sissel and see how far he can get. Examine the sweet potato. What in the world is this thing? Oh boy, you even forgot what a sweet potato is? Wait, he doesn't know about this stuff and he can't read because he's a cat! He never had that information to begin with! If he's not a cat, I'm gonna feel really silly. <laughs> it's a roasted root vegetable. It's good. There's nothing like them on a cold winter's day. They're sweet and they smell delicious! These guys sure are making me want to try one. Do you guys like sweet potatoes? Okay, I can't make it to any farther from here. Well, Missile can't really make it that far either. I think I probably have to wait for the scene to play out some more. Maybe not. How do I reach anything? Is there anything I can switch? There's not. Oh boy. Oh, headphones turn up. Oh shit. I missed my chance. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. 
I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Oh, nice. I made it to the checkpoint. Okay. Nice. Okay. Rock the basket. Okay. There's the sweet potato. Spray the nozzle. Oh, spray it again. Spray it again. Oh. Hmm, that was kind of disappointing. Maybe the timing was a little off. Miss Lane always says it's better to be early than late. I better try it again. Um. Go back. Right? For that meteorite to come down uh oh we have to change the fragments path somehow looks like both paths and fate can be difficult things to change there has to be a way if we work together you and me i thought we'd be able to do something hot that's funny i wonder why he's using the past tense all right let me start over hey berserker guts hi up again wait maybe we didn't oh look at the sweet potato a big scary sweet potato that's not a sweet potato missile that's mino oh right of course but look at them the potato and mino right now they both have the same shape so you're saying you could swap them huh Good idea, Missile. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to need your help. My help? Yeah, but the problem is... I'm not in the sweet potato, and I need to be in the sweet potato. Spray the nozzle. Jump into the potato. Okay, now... We gotta spray the nozzle. All right, missile. Do you wanna swap the... Just, okay, let's just try it. Oh, it doesn't, hold on. Maybe I need to put, wait. I haven't tried it while he's in the sweet potato already, did I? Oh my God, was it that simple the whole time? Let's see. Hello? Oh, I'm on the wrong character. Oh, fuck. But is this just the same? Okay, let, hold on. Oh my God. Oh, I think we did it, finally. Oh, look, the lamppost is bending. I bet, it, but it hasn't broken yet. It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. It might just hold out for a little while longer. If I recall, the Temsic fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in its way, I don't know, it doesn't look very firm. Then fate should change. Wait, there's still more I have to do? Oh, poor Miss Lynn! I'm sorry. If you're so sorry, then put her down! <laughs> All right now, Missile. I was really out of my head that day. <clears throat> I 
All right, all right. It's just the same dialogue. Let's see. Um. What are we trying to do? Are we just waiting to see what happens or is there something I need to do? I guess we're just going to see what happens because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do anything more here. There, how's that? Look, the fragments course. It changed a little. Now your meal's fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragments trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? In its path? No! Is it... A Jowd? Detective Jowd! The Temsic fragment shot through his leg! What? The cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Ugh. Come on, put it down. Huh? Put Jowd. Put the gun down now. If you don't, you're going to shoot him. I don't know if it's his detective training or what, but even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! No! I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen! <laughs> missile! Missile, missile, missile! Missile, the bullet has stopped in midair! I'm here! Inside the bullet! Now let's swap it with something! Wh what? With what? With the potato! The cooked potato! Detective Jowd, the meteorite fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. We have to prove that murder isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. Mmm. -hmm. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. Yep, the potato. Oh no, we stopped the bullet, but we still couldn't save him. That's not true. My fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead. I'm just unconscious. Okay, so your fate is, of death has changed, but still, this fate is just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we were overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still slowly turning. Ah, look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Missile! Somebody! Damn it! My leg won't work! It's all over! We're out of time! Missile, you're supposed to be the one who saves us! yet but there isn't anything else to swap it with why don't we just let it play out and then try to find another way next time even if she dies all you have to do is possess her corpse and you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes no i won't do that why not 
Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her memory of it would remain like a scar on her psyche. I won't let that happen. Not if I can help it. But what can we do now? Even if we work together? I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Cecil and I do? Huh? The third party is gonna join? Don't forget, I'm here too. With three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight this battle. This battle against the fate of death. Your meal! Sissel, your power is manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go. So your meal will forever be known as Tater Face. <laughs> All right, I'll try to move there. Now gather your uh, gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all, and remember, you'll only have a split second. Okay, now do it! Got it! Wait, but what is... Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, Kith? Now it's your turn, Missile. Power friendship! Power friendship! What? A me? But what can I do? Uh Come on, look. Let's take a look. I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it! You can swap them! That hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. What? Even if I swap them, it'll still be right above Miss Lynn! Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it! I'll swap them! I'm just gonna buy some time. Mr. Mastermind here is going to do something. It's no use! We can't stop that horrible Mino! What can we do now? I don't see how gathering a second or two helped. Oh, it helped all right. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn? Him. You know what my power is, right? Manipulating... People? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute. You mean... That's right. Is he gonna sacrifice himself? I'm going to save. What? I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Gods. But well, I was going to say, isn't there still the issue of Temsic? But if Zhao doesn't die, then they won't find out about the powers of the manipulator for until Zhao dies, I guess. Of old age, hopefully. You know, peacefully in his bed or something. Ah, you're awake. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Huh? Oh, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. No, a giant chunk of meteorite is literally in your leg. 
Did you guys see the size of that thing? It's like this big. I'm lucky it wasn't fatal hit. But the main thing is that you're not hurt. You... You saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me, I'm a police detective. Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. What? What's that? This is a detective's badge. We give them to children who've been very brave. A detective's badge? Thanks! Okay, you know what to do, little detective. Are you alive? Oh, he's alive! Why am I relieved? Well, because... I mean... He really got dealt a shitty hand, but he made some really bad decisions in his other timeline. <laughs> some really awful ones. Yeah, sadly. Hang on. Help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. He doesn't have any memory of it because... I mean, is all of that a, all of that is erased now or what? It was if somebody else was controlling me. Well, you were controlling yourself. It's complicated. <laughs> I see. But, you know, I'm glad it happened. Wait, so what happens to Sissel? over there come to think of it i just saw it a few minutes ago it's probably a stray it's kind of limp is it okay what did the bullet come down and hit the cat or something i don't know i think it's unconscious that's funny it doesn't look like it's injured or anything But if I take it to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitten? Okay, we're all still here for now. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my mind, or my head. That's my real name. These long, lonely ten years. You were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? Where this guy's cat? Old friend. Look at how handsome we are. I think, I think I finally remember. That's why he can't read, because he's a fucking cat. 
Ten years ago, I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. Wait, so... Okay. Well, they're gonna explain. They're gonna explain. I was weak and all alone in the world. Somebody, please look at me. Hold on, I gotta move back up here. Move back up here for a bit. Whoop, that's too much. <laughs> Huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoo, you might get hurt. Um, so he... He manipulated the cat, and that's how he first escaped his body, I guess. Probably? Who's talking here, though? Yo, Meal? Or the cat? Or Sissel wanting wanting uh, somebody to... Save him from being astray. Somebody, please reach out. Reach a hand out to me. It's the cat, okay. I had just, I had just only died at the time. I lost everything, my life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore, but I still managed to reach out a hand to him. The next thing I knew, my soul had transferred to the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as a cat with you for a while. After a while, the man oh, after a while the man regained his memory. I went back to being just a cat. And then the man got his body back. I took my body back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. To control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I had just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yomil. A man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me. But they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. For ten years, I wander. For ten years, I wandered through the darkness with no particular. Wait, who's talking now? <laughs> Yo, Mil. For ten years, I wandered through the darkness with no particular place to go. I mean, they're both kind of in darkness right now. If the cat is in the <laughs> briefcase, but maybe he's not yet. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I could only manipulate small creatures and objects. But then, after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. Distorted, artificial light.
When I got my revenge on Lin, I could see that light, or at least that's what I tried to believe. I left my old self buried in that junkyard and walked away. The black cat. I was possessing Sissel then. It wouldn't look very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind this country when I left it. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. Yeah, that first bullet! What? I wasn't able to control her completely. first bullet didn't hit anything, or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sissel inside that bag. So who's the lamp? Yes. Yes, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temsic radiation. And that's when I got my powers of the dead, my ghost tricks. I think I understand now why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back. It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lin tonight? If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple, because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I can control all kinds of things, from the living to the dead, but even so, there's some things that you can do that I can't. You mean... I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Not only that, but I never would have just let my fiancé stay dead like that. But... You're here ten years in the past now! It's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. In any case, now the starting point of... This entire tra tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. Yeah, what the hell is going to happen now? The fate of your death and the kitten Sissel's fate. And I can just bet you the fate of the woman you love has changed too. Yes, I believe you're right. So, this was the last fate to be averted, eh? So, Yomil, looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes, and I'm glad, too. I 
I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling. Oh, wait, this is, um, um, Lynn. What you've been feeling these 10 years. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new 10 years later was just born. Right, we should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla again. So these past 10 years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. The memories of all of us here will remain. Wait, how do you know that? How do you know that? Including the memory of what I did. My crime. That's the way this Game of the Dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason... There's no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her. Wait, so maybe... Is... Was Yo meal the lamp or... Who's the lamp? Are they ever going to answer the who's the lamp? People have remembered their deaths when we saved them. Yeah, but this, this is like, I, this feels different. <laughs> this feels different. I have no intention of running away from that either. The most inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Sissel. Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. We'll be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yomil? Thank you, Sissel. It's a good game. <laughs> I'm so very glad I met you. Hug your pets, everyone. Yeah. Where's Mochi? Oh, right here. <laughs> Mochi. The chocolate's melting under all my lights. Me too, Yomil. Sissel? Are we ever going to see each other again? Of course we will. We're going to be best friends. Cat and dog playing together. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll, I'll never forget you! <laughs> so sweet, I can't take it. Uh, uh, <laughs> you just got home from work. We're a cat now? Yeah, we're a cat now. <laughs> Always have been. I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jowd. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now we're go each going back to our own new present. Yeah, Doom, that's why Psycho uh, recommended it. <laughs> exactly why. Because it has cute little animals. 
and power of friendship. Right? <laughs> and a good mystery and a almost con like overly convoluted story. <laughs> Checks all the boxes. We said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would cross again. Hmm? Wait. Um... <clears throat> Who's talking? Your meal? Sissel? The lamp? <laughs> Before you go back to a new. No. Sissel already. I mean, your meal already thanked us. Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. Lamp. Okay. Who's the lamp? Who died? Who died around the Temsic aura? Whatever. I had a theory once that the lamp was the wife of Jowd. Could be. No, it wouldn't be the fiance. Is it the wife of Jowd? The question is, does the Temsic stuff, um, radiation or whatever, does it, is it carried by Yomil's soul? Because his soul was involved through manipulation of the wife of Jowd's death, but I don't know if that soul itself as Temsic, or if it's just like his body. All right, we're gonna find out. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray. In case you have forgotten again, thanks to you, everything has turned out as I had hoped. I'm really grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. But don't forget, I was on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. What, I am you? Can I ask you a question, Ray? Yeah, who the fuck are you? I want to know, who exactly are you? Fair enough, I will tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. Another version of the events, 10 years in the past. Or of the events five years of the events. Wait, which events are we talking about? You changed the fate of many Fates of many people tonight. Okay, yes, the present. The first of which was hers. Yeah. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what would, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. Is it the fucking mouse? After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. Oh, 
They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process... Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit survived on. He desperately reached out his paw towards his mistress, and that's when a miracle occurred. What? Look at that! The powers of the dead. But how? He didn't really understand it himself. Not yet, anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. That's right. He died inside the aura of that strange little energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of the man in red's death. What? I'm, I don't know where they're going with this. Is Missile the lamp? He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken these ten years to be retold. So that was you, huh? Grandpa Missile? Oh yeah, Lynn did say the... <laughs> the uh, lamp's voice was like an old... Did she say... I don't know if she said old man or... She says an old... What the hell? <laughs> Wait, okay, so Missile... Oh, Missile went back in time 10 years. Missile went back in time... To before... He was even born. Right? Yeah. What? <laughs> this is crazy! Dude, Missile is the best. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? That's right. I'm Missile. <laughs> Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own. So you decided to wait those ten years out. Well, when... When Sissel goes jumps ten years, he's gonna be an old cat too. He's gonna be an old cat. Exactly. And then, at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By this time, I had grown old and my powers were weak. So I did- uh, Dude! Missile is- <laughs> Missile is the true hero of this whole story! 
I mean, I already knew that, but now it's even... It's even, like, more true. So I decided I needed to... He's the best boy! He waited 10 years! He's the most loyal doggy ever! He just wanted to save Camilla! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, <sighs> this is too much for me. So I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. He was on his last paw. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second. You were able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened, but I became able to manipulate small objects. But in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could do, like travel through the telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power. Yeah, I mean, it does. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't have been able to do any of this without that. Especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before, on that night, the first time around. We what? We met before? You know, I don't even know what night they're talking about now. From listening to the conversation of the two intruders to the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life in that junkyard, at the junkyard on the edge of town. I followed the ghost world paths to the junkyard and came upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my fur stand on end, I can tell you. Th that was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. You had lost your memory that time, too. You had just died, and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? I just... I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said! disappeared away over the telephone line I'm really sorry I didn't help you that's why I decided that this time I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage mutual advantage the only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory if I could guide you along the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to your meal. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. Yeah, he did say that. If I hadn't have done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. And the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have all been over. This is too much. Then, you mean... 
That thing about ceasing to exist? Oh, that? Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. But I just wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I always thought that was a possibility. I hate to admit it, but this doggy is... This little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. That's our missile. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. And now it's time to say farewell. So what did they just explain to me? Missile went back in time like twice? So he's like, this missile is like 20 years old. Missile went back and waited 10 years, became Ray, right. And then, um, Sissel wouldn't help him. So he went back. Maybe he didn't go all the way back 10 years, but he went back so that he could try to get Sissel to help him again because the first time failed. He never gave him the time limit the first time. Now it's time to say farewell. These past 10 years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Missile. I believed in you. I always knew you could do it. So you did. Thank you. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. It's a fucking Missile. So you waited and waited. <sighs> These ten long years. All for the sake of your two ladies. Yes! Yes! Lynn and Camilla, eh? Of course! Because that's what doggies do! Fuck! <laughs> uh. Well then, farewell, Sissel. <laughs> and so the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody but us knew what really happened. I made my way back, back to a new present. <laughs> That's what doggies do! <laughs> You think Mochi would like a dog friend? Huh? How come it's dark? I'll just turn on the lights here. I don't know who's talking. Oh. This time, I'm guessing there won't be any, uh, there's no gun. <laughs> Yay! It worked! Hey! Where's Missile? Aha! Uh -huh. Were you surprised? You bet I was! You nearly scared me to death! Yippee! It worked! I hope that Lynn is a little bit better at surviving now that we can't save her anymore. <laughs> not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made this surprise for her, but it came out so well, I wanted to use it again. That's all right, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as a detective, right? Really? Thank you, Detective Jowd. Dad, you're home! Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division today. So well, this is five years. Hi, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges too. Oh, this? Yeah. I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. 
but yours looks a lot older than mine, though. <laughs> How long are you going to keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? What's wrong with it? To me, this is the symbol of a real detective. It's been 10 years since then, hasn't it? Oh, it's 10. It is 10 years ago. I'm confused. I mean, 10 years. This is a new present. Okay. Would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day. When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out where that destiny will lead me. Haha, uh -huh. that you will. That you will. Oh, hello. Don't tell me you're that same little kitten. That's right, the very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's 10 years old, but he's still a kitten. Huh? How does that work? Still a kitten? Yep, he never got any bigger or anything. Wow, what a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel. Hmm. It seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. I think Sissel likes you, Lynn. Hey! All right, everyone. Let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom. Where's Missile? I bet you're just like me. I, wait, okay, I think it's Lynn talking. <clears throat> Your destiny led you here somehow too. And so we, yay. <laughs> Wait, I can't talk. From just a single night as a human, I got a glimpse into their world and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now this is my new fate. I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine. Curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. But what about mi- wait. What about Missile? birthday to our lovely Lynn. Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. But birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. Not bad, huh? But definitely not good. Maybe now I can I can be a great detective, just like Inspector Cabanella. What kind of example is the inspector providing for you? Oh, there's that guy with his feet. Here's your food, gentlemen. Memory, what are you doing here? 
I heard you were going to be picking new members for the special investigation unit today. So you took on a part-time job here again just so you could eavesdrop? Oh, you have no idea the lengths I'd go to reach my goals. La la, I've never cooked this way before. So exotic, so exciting. Turmeric, coriander, cumin, and fenu, fenugreek, fenu, whatever. Is this? <sighs> Our best customer requested it. Now, good luck with the taste. It's going too fast for me. Oh boy, I don't think I could eat another bite. Just who exactly is this very best customer? anyway <laughs> that guy never went to jail for doing something that he didn't do and the rocks the rock star too Sure, we really need all these explosives. Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Wait a minute. 20 kilograms? I thought it was 20 grams! He can buy all the chicken he could ever want with that. Also, did they just die? That's dark if that's the case. <laughs> so this is where you work, huh, Pampa? That's right, sweetheart. Hey, all his his furrowed brows gone. You must have heard some juicy stories. The indiscretions of a minister, perhaps? Now, now, must you talk that way in front of our darling angel? Here's to the stodgy mind of my darling husband. Ding. buy some grapes because of this game this deal is going quite well oh let's see these grapes are delicious indeed and you, you know it's about to scrape at the bottom of the sea sir Egad. keep it together man are you trying to give me a case of the vapors i believe i nearly died of fright just now Long live rock and roll. Oh no, get away from don't get away from that. That thing's bad news. It's bad news. Rock on, pigeons. Stop the park from charging admission. Protect the rights of those who live here. find something to protest about oh these guys hell yeah today's the day you know he's finally getting out you know everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that then let me show you a new dance that's been passed down in our family for generations. We do this when we have a stomachache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. 
Oh, I'm real interested in that one. Think you could show it to me, say, next week? You got it! So he paid for his crimes. Ten years. Ten long years, Yomil. The lady who always comes to visit you is waiting outside. Thank you, Sissel. Now he can live life Oh, you drew me a of sizzle. Ah, it's so sweet. Now he can live with his life without feeling weighed down by what he did because he served his time. a great game thank you guys so much for watching my playthrough of ghost trick phantom detective i just rolled credits and <laughs> yeah yeah that was really something really special really really special game i was thoroughly surprised by this i didn't expect to get so invested in the characters and the characters were great and missile this was just the best little doggy ever i thought the puzzles were very unique it was new for me something that i never really have done anything like before the idea of ghost tricks going back four minutes before someone's death um and then you know rewinding time keep trying until you get things right kind of reminds me a little bit of Life is Strange, which is the first game that I kind of played that dealt with those kind of themes. But it was really cool in this one. The art style was great. I loved the character design. That goes for their physical appearance, their, their outfits, their hairs, as well as their personalities. They were so over the top in the best way possible. The music was a lot of fun. And the story was such a wild ride i love being able to go back and discover these games these older games through remasters or just through people suggesting them to me like we did with like legend of dragoon there's just so much good stuff out there so many hidden gems as well like i don't know how popular this game was when it came out or anything but it doesn't seem to have like a huge following I never heard about this game until they announced this new version of it and I had no idea that it was an older game being brought to the PS5. I had no idea and now I do and I'm super glad and I'm glad you guys got to watch along whether you're old fans of this game or if you're new uh, like me and experiencing it for the first time and with that I'll see you guys in the next game. I'll see you guys in the comments as well. Thank you and have a good one. Bye bye.